Welcome everybody back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be showing you all how I get my teeny itty bitty 4C curls popping. So let's get right into it. So the night before I decided I wanted to do a wash and go, I went ahead and pre-pooed my hair with coconut oil. Now this was just an extra measure taken to ensure that my hair would be very moisturized because it's a very, very important factor in getting those curls to really come out. So after um, I've slept on the pre-pooed hair, the next morning I went ahead and shampooed it. Now this is the day after I took out my crochet braids. So I really wanted to get in there, get in those roots, loosen up that dirt, and make sure everything is squeaky clean because we're gonna be adding a lot of product to this later on and we don't wanna have excess buildup. So the next very important contributor to the moisturization of our glorious crown, Mr. Conditioner. I went ahead and used my handy dandy trusty herbal essence conditioner that I've been using for about three years now since I semi big chopped my hair and went natural. Um, it's been a very loyal conditioner to me. It does a great job of penetrating shaft, you know, the typical great slip, all that stuff that natural girls say good condi conditioners do, this conditioner does for me. So I went ahead and got it um, through all of my hair and left it on for only about five minutes because like I said, this is a wash and go, as in we trying to go, as in we got places to be. So I only left it on for about five minutes and let the steam from the shower help it penetrate my hair better. So anyway, back to business. Now the next step, which is actually my least favorite step, is detangling. And the reason I don't like it so much is because it feels like it takes forever and it's so time consuming. However, because of the pre-poo and the conditioner that I'm using that has such a great slip, um, detangling this time didn't feel like it took forever. I didn't section off my hair as I usually do on my you know, weekly wash routine. Instead, I let my hair fall into a mushroom shape and just went around clockwise, section by section, detangling with the brush and then with my fingers to make sure there are no knots. And now, the reason we're all here, the star of the show, are Eco Styler Gel. Now, there are things that I really like about this gel and things that I despise about this gel. However, I'll get into the details of that towards the end of the video. Right now, I just want to show you how I got the gel, um, how I apply the gel to my hair. And I apologize for the fogginess, you know, steam, camera, only so much I could do about it. Sorry. So anyway, with the gel, I am applying a very generous amount section by section going around my, you know, mushroom shape um, clockwise. And I mentioned at the beginning of this video the importance of moisturizing your hair. It helped with detangling faster and now it's helping me run the gel through my hair, raking from roots to end um, as, as needed. Okay, and I know some of you are probably thinking, yo, you said 4C hair. There is no way I can get my 4C hair to a wash and go. But let me tell you something. I've been natural for about three years. Two and a half of those years, I was not a believer. But just trust me, moisturizing and one more trick that I'm about to show you is the key to getting those curls to really come out. Okay, now I know you're looking like, um, this girl said curls. I don't see any curls. I just see a clump of really nappy, kinky hair on that girl's head. Well, let me show you the trick that I was talking about earlier. You're going to grab your favorite t-shirt. Hey, Adam. You're going to cover your face because this is going to get messy. And you're just going to shake. Tirikatampampa, shake it. Shake it up. Now, if you look closely, you'll notice that the curls are starting to form. So you just want to take a look at what you've got so far. Take a look at your progress. Analyze it. Do you like what you see? If you don't, give it one more shake. But now, let me warn you. Do not give yourself a concussion over some popping curls, okay? <laughs> don't shake too hard, don't shake too much. And just observe the results. 
So now I'm just gonna go ahead and give myself um, the part that I want. It's better to do it while your hair is wet rather than wait for it to start to dry up. Then it'll be more difficult to create your part. So it's been an hour now since I applied the gel to my hair and I would say my hair is about 50% dry. Now I'm going to start getting into the details of what I like and what I don't like about Eco Styler Gel. Let's start with the pros. The one thing that I love about the gel is that it does its job. I wanted it to define my curls and kind of bring them out a little bit and that's exactly what it did as you can see here. However, the thing that I do not like most about the gel is the residue that it leaves. Um, you can see the white, the white um, residue in my hair now that the hair isn't completely dry and you know if somebody got somewhere to be they can't really be walking around with white residue in their hair. So what I've decided to do is to go ahead and test out other products um, that are meant to define curls and see how it's going to work number one on my 4C hair in defining my curls and number two in preventing you know residue from forming in my hair or just drying faster because the gel is so heavy it takes forever to dry and again that's what causes the white residue so I hope you guys stick around with me as I start on my journey to finding the best 4C hair defining cream now I actually already went out and bought two potential contenders and I really am excited to try them out so stick around for upcoming videos I hope you enjoy this and you learned something um, go ahead and comment, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.